Brie Larson, Episode uh, 2, Weapon of No Destruction. Uh, Tom Cruise. Brie Larson's uh, stupid speech reminded me of Tom Cruise when he was uh, attacking Brooke Shields for using drugs for postpartum uh, depression. And uh, Tom Cruise was making a bid for power. He, 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 he tried to get drugs uh, to be made illegal. If, if he had been encouraged, if had, that had gone successfully instead of catastrophically, he would have went further. And people like that, if they had their way, we'd all be in jail. And Brie Larson herself made a bid for power when she said that white men should not be watching her movies or something like that. Or that the movies weren't made for them. Um, yeah, she failed, but imagine if she had succeeded. Um, when an evil person fails, they are still evil. Um, when someone steals from you, and then you catch them, and then they return it, and then they say sorry, they're still a thief. If you try to murder somebody, but you fail, ah, you're still basically a murderer, murderer in my book. Uh, morality experts. Moral compasses. That's what these people are. Um... When, what kind of person thinks they are 100% good? They don't have any racism not a, in their bone, not a racist bone in their body, not, not a hateful bone in their body. Everybody has a racist bone in their body and a hateful bone in their body. Uh, everybody should be ashamed of it and try to diminish it, but it is there. Anybody who tries to say that they're 100% good is uh, a fascist, um, is lying, and are the, they're the worst people in the world um, if you're going to speak about something like Brie Larson is trying to do you should be able to look at both sides you should uh, research the subject thoroughly so that you're, you know, you're not saying ignorant things um, if you don't do that you're dangerous and you're fascist I call them weapons of no destruction because they are weapons because they're trying to destroy they just have no power they're like a gun without a, without a bullet. And if you're going to go on like you're so great and everyone else is so much inferior to you, then you better have no skeletons in the closet because it's going to look really, really bad if something ever comes out that Brie Larson said that was racist. And I'm sure there is something. She's going to look like a fool when that happens. It's good that Brie Larson uh, cares about women and non-whites. It's good that she's trying to use her privilege to help the underprivileged. But she should be studying heavily the, the subjects that she uh, cares about. There's a lot to know about gender politics. She should be reading about the witch burnings, the suffragettes, um, the history of racism. She should have a thorough, a thorough knowledge if she's going to go on about it. A dilettante, that's one of my favorite words is a jack of all trades master at none a dilettante is the kind of person who gets a yellow belt in karate um, learns how to play chess at the lowest level uh, reads one book one Russian book and then goes around telling people that they're a karate expert and that they are a chess master and and they've read Russian literature um, they do it to impress people at parties people who have never read Russian literature don't know how to play chess, don't know how to do karate and they, they, they do that to impress people at parties they give very bad information, they might give you a karate lesson and tell you the worst karate advice and then you go out and get your ass kicked or tell you uh, you know, the way Russian <laughs> and then you go out and make a fool out of yourself uh, it's ugly and it's harmful she should be, uh, Brie Larson should be volunteering at women's shelters if she's going to say that she's the moral compass and the, um, the uh, expert on, uh, you know, social things, gender. Uh, she should be donating her entire paycheck from Captain Marvel to women's abuse shelters. There was a, a person I know who um, is heavily involved in uh, lesbian rights. She does... She organizes them and she's part of them. And uh, she said to me, I, I said, uh, I asked her a question about, you know, about gender and blah, blah, blah. And she said, she goes, uh, you know, 
basically, I, I've had to deal with this shit my whole life, and I really don't feel like explaining it to someone who doesn't know, because, you know, it's a waste of my time to have to educate people who are ignorant. And I said, that's not true at all. It is your role to do that, because the only person who's going to teach ignorant people about these things are the people who've suffered them, right? Like, if you're black and you've been oppressed, it's your job to show the ignorant white people why, what and why, what happened. They're not going to do it on their own. People never care about any cause unless they're suffering from it. Um, you, Christopher Reeve didn't donate, didn't try to raise money for stem cell research just because he was a good guy. He did it because he had the problem. And it's the same with everything. If you're, if you're a minority, you have to fight and you have to educate people about what's going on. So don't give me this snobby attitude like I'm not worth talking to about this. Which is, seems like what Brie Larson's doing. Like she, we're not even worth explaining this, her stupid subject to. Again, the, uh, oh, and uh, the, the cast and crew of Captain Marvel are predominantly white males. The writer, the director, um, there's a white female director, but there's also a white male director. So what up with that, Brie? Again, the race card, the gender card. Uh, you should save the race card, the gender card, for when you really need it, because we'll run out and then there'll be no race cards left. There'll be no gender cards left for when there's a real problem. You're, you're crying wolf. And it's a, uh, it's a detriment. You're doing a disservice to the people who are much more oppressed than you are. I mean, is Captain Marvel really that oppressed of a movie? As far as I can tell, it couldn't be more supported. It's got the biggest backing. She's going to kill Thanos. I mean... Anyways, uh, so... You know, I visited the hospital one time for some somebody who was really sick. And it occurred to me that uh, that person didn't necessarily want to see me there every day. And it's, it's nice that I wanted to show that I care about the person. But I had to be careful not to turn it into the Justin show. My name's Justin. Don't turn it into the Justin show. Right. This isn't about how great I am because I'm visiting so-and-so in the hospital. This is about just making sure that they are comfortable. And if they don't feel like having visitors, respect that and stay the hell away. And it seems like Brie Larson has turned her gender studies uh, comments into the Brie Larson show because... Nobody's really commenting or, or discussing women women and what their roles are or whether they get enough or white men and if they get too many roles. They're more discussing her. Either they're discussing how, discussing how great she is or they're discuss, discussing how annoyed they are at her. But it's the Brie Larson show and that's ugly. She went too far. That That's a sign that you went too far, Brie. Good deeds lose their goodness when you publicize them. Buying someone a gift and then mentioning it all the time takes away the, the kindness of the gift. Remember when I bought you that? Wasn't that great? I bought you that, though. I bought you something, though. So now can I get something? It, it, all the goodness is gone when you, you just do the good deed and then shut up about it. And in the same way, it's just Brie Larson bragging at a dinner party about what a great person she is. And it's ugly. What have you done? Like... What did you do? Did you did you make it so that there were more whites in your, or blacks in your movie? Did you do, have you furthered this cause in any way except aside from just your boasting about I don't even know what she's boasting about, but I don't think she's done. I went to a McDonald's once and I saw on the wall a sign saying something about McDon how much money McDonald's gives to McDonald's children's charities. And I thought, you know, that's ugly. It's ugly to brag about it because now it makes me think that you're only doing it so that you can brag about how you're good people. And how stupid would it look if I went around telling people how much money I give to charities? It would be I would be considered to be uh, you know fishing for compliments. Only companies can get away with that, but it just shows you how ugly it is, how false it is to do that. You know, McDonald's if they want to give money to charities, they should just do it under the table. You know, that's when a good deed is really good. You do it in secret, in private. 
Because, of course, how much you want to bet, the only reason McDonald's has their children charity is for tax credits and things like that. There's absolutely nothing altruistic about it. And I don't think there's anything altruistic about what Brie Larson's doing. I don't think her moral uh, superiority has anything there. I don't think there's anything there. It's just talk. And, you know, I don't blame her for wanting to participate and feel important. We all do. You know, I have a YouTube thing because I want to share my thoughts because we all want to feel like we're interacting with the world, but there's better ways to do it than the way she's doing it. She could be doing what, like, Jon Stewart does, and he's, like, saving animals and shit, and he doesn't do it that publicly. He just does it. Howard Stern, they save dogs, him and his wife. Okay, that's great. But you don't have to brag about it. You don't have to tell everybody about it. Um, you're an actor, just do it, you know, really, just do the most incredible performance as Captain Marvel. That's all. And I asked myself, how am I any different? How Am I being a hypocrite? Because I'm saying my views, why am I allowed to do that and Brie Larson shouldn't be doing that? And the answer is that I'm not saying I'm right. Most of the time I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just, I'm always prefacing shit with, like, in my opinion, it seems like this... And I'm willing to say I'm wrong about tons of things and that I'm not altruistic. And I, I actually do think that the Me Too movement has a lot of uh, of good. And maybe maybe Brie Larson is good for doing this, for all I know. Maybe Spike Lee's good for saying that white people suck constantly. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, a lot of things are gotten taken by force. Being aggressive works. So I don't know. I, I don't have the final word on it. So, so there. If you support gays, click like. If you respect blacks, comment. If you think women are people too, click the notification bell. And if you care about sick children, subscribe.